favorite shots I've taken this year. So in this video, I thought I'd just show you guys how I edit these photos to get those like moody sort of dark tones in the image. Before I continue, I just want to say there's probably a million different ways to edit a photo like this. I'm a bit of a hack at this stuff. I learned basically everything I know from YouTube and sort of figured it out from there. So this is just personally how I do it. It's not necessarily right or wrong. But with that out of the way, this is how I edit those dark, moody, forest sort of tones. So the first step is to obviously capture the image. Obviously, if you want to give your photo that moody look, you've got to shoot in the right location. It needs to be shot in sort of cloudy, misty conditions with lots of greens in the frame for this edit to work uh, as best as it possibly can. So this is the image we're going to be working on today, and we're going to turn it from this into this. So I'm going to hop onto my computer now, and uh, I'll show you guys how I achieve this look. So the first thing I'm going to do is import my photo into Lightroom, crop the photo to my personal preference, and then just do a basic color correction in the basic tab of Lightroom. As you can see, this image was quite underexposed when I took it. I shoot my photos underexposed on purpose because it allows me to sort of bring back a lot of detail in the shadows. Compared to shooting a photo overexposed, once those highlights are overexposed, you're not going to be able to get them back. So that's just a little tip. Always shoot your photos slightly underexposed. And I'm also just going to cool the image off slightly to give it that cold sort of mood. So as we scroll down, we come to the tone curve. I'm just gonna add a simple S curve and then bring down the whites and the blacks up a little bit. All this tool is doing is allowing us to add some like brightness and contrast to the image and sort of make it a bit more punchy if that makes any sense. Next, we're gonna come down to the HSL panel and I'm gonna start in the saturation panel. Now this part completely depends on what colors you have in your image, but to give it that moody look, the main thing I'm gonna do is desaturate the yellows and the greens in this image. I then sort of experiment with all the colors, just slide them up and down to see what they're actually affecting in the image, and I just get them to a point where I think they look good. But the main thing in the saturation panel for that moody look is crushing your greens and your yellows. Next, we're gonna go to the hue panel and basically do the same as we did in the saturation. We're just gonna play around, and see what sort of works best for the image. But to make our greens pop more, I'm actually gonna drag them towards the aqua side of the slider. You'll see this sort of cools them down a bit and makes them pop a little bit more. Compared to if I drag the slider the other way, it sort of browns them off and makes it almost look like summer, which isn't really what I personally want for this edit. I want it to look, you know, cold and sort of wintry. So I'm gonna push that towards the aqua side of the slider. Okay, next up is split toning. I'm gonna to click on this little box here and then select a green color. You'll see your image looks really bad, but then you're gonna drop your saturation down to about three to five. And if I turn the effect on and off here, you can just see it adds a bit more of like a green punch to the image. Next, I'm just gonna go through and add a bit of noise reduction to the image, to take some of that grain out. And then I'm gonna come down to the calibration panel and make like small little adjustments to the image. As you can see, I really didn't do too much in this panel. Next, I'm gonna open the image in Photoshop. Now, I actually do a lot of stuff to my images in Photoshop, and it's too much to explain in this video, but the main thing I did to this photo was add the Orton effect, which gives it that sort of dreamy look, and then got rid of some things in the image using the Content Aware Fill tool and the Clone Stamp tool. Then I saved it, opened up Lightroom again, and this is when I add some final little touches to the image. So I'm gonna increase the overall vibrance of the image, just to make those colors stand out a bit more. And then I'm just gonna add a slight vignette on the image to draw the viewer's eye to sort of the middle of the photo. And then I'm just gonna place a graduated filter on the ground and drop the exposure of that. And then finally, I'm just gonna quickly highlight the car using the brush tool. And then I'm just gonna raise the exposure of the car just to make it stand out that little bit more. And yeah, that's it. I export the photo and I'm done with it. So that's gonna wrap this one up. Hopefully someone out there learned something. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.